All right, so I've been taking a look at the new FetTech firmware, and today we're going to take a look at how it flies against Legacy Kiss versus Betaflight on default. The FetTech firmware is still in alpha, so we got to keep that in mind, but let's check it out and see how she flies. So I'm not sure if it's well known, but with any firmware, when you are just flying around real nice and steady like, that is going to just follow your rates. There's really no challenge on the flight controller. Uh, the only time the flight controller really gets challenged or the firmware is when there's outside influences pushing on the quad or you're making sharp moves like sharp snap rolls, flips. Uh, if you're going up in the air and you have big differences like your full throttle punch and then drop the throttle, you know, does it drift around? Does it stay on point? When you pump the throttle, does it the nose bob up and down? Again, when you do flips and rolls, does it bounce back? And then, of course, how does it perform in prop wash situations? So what we're going to do here is back to back to back. I'm going to show you Kiss Legacy, then the new FetTech, and then Beta Flight. And we're going to, again, look at bounce back, throttles, drift, and prop wash. And... Bounce back. Get it flying a little bit just to test it out and you can see I could hear that bounce back. I don't see any bounce back, I don't think. So I have a confession to make, I kind of looked at logs already and uh, and I kind of know what I was going to get here because I could see the bounce back in it. Ooh, throbbles are a lot better though, huh? Good job, Elix. Like that. Let's check out throbbles. So you can see there's some more. Oh. And you can see it kind of drifting. It's interesting. So like even when I get on the throttle and just drift, yeah, you know, it just drifts over. Um, just drift. It's pretty good. Didn't drift off. I remember Kiss when we did Kiss Default. It just would like drift off when you'd punch it and drop. Just do the punch and just dr throttle drop. A little bit, not too bad though, honestly. Oh, prop wash, you can even do prop wash. Yeah, I mean, nothing, nothing great. I mean, it's, yeah, it's got prop wash. Prop wash, not good. Let's check out wash. Now after checking those out, hopefully you can make the conclusion for yourself. What I'm seeing is there's definitely an improvement over KISS Legacy with FetTech firmware, specifically throbbles and, and all, every, all the other degrees. We didn't have any of that drift 
uh, when you're getting off the throttle, which was really funky with uh, Kiss Legacy. They both had bounce back, but it's a little easier to tune out the one with Fet Tech because you're really just increasing the D terms there because it's P term bounce back. It's kind of easy. Fet Tech was definitely better in throbbles. And I would say prop wash. I, I don't know that uh, one was better or worse. I think all three, honestly, were kind of bad for prop wash. Now, we did give the Fet Tech firmware a little benefit of the doubt there because we are loading the five inch preset where Legacy Kiss, we just had the default. Considering it is alpha firmware, I thought that was a fair compromise. And obviously that's gonna improve as this is just alpha firmware at this point. But ultimately, uh, hopefully it was clear that Betaflight on its default um, was quite a bit better. And that was Betaflight 4.3 actually a year ago uh, when it was still in beta release uh, 4.3. Next, we're gonna be tuning up Fet Tech. And actually, I'm going to have a video this week for my Patreon supporters talking about how to tune without having any black box or anything, how to really do it by ear and uh, specifically with the FET Tech firmware. But it really is applicable to any flight controller. Uh, just how do you detect that bounce back? How do you kind of tune out that PD balance and things of that nature? No logging. Again, we're going to use the FET Tech on that. So if you're interested in that, please check out the video description below. And if you are interested in checking out FET Tech, I made a whole video for you over here about the FET Tech GUI. We go through the entire GUI and then we go through all the different settings. What do they do and how you can kind of navigate that GUI and not miss some things. So yeah, ch definitely check that out if you have a FET Tech flight controller or are thinking about one. But for now, thanks everybody. And I hope this helps.